I didn't do nothing Puffy did. That's why I don't be going to the Puffy parties. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever. I'm sorry, daytime television. I'm sorry for the realness. Prove things that I could say that would back up my claim, but this is not for the world to know about. You know what I mean? It's between me and him, and only he knows. These are celebrities who tried to warn us about Diddy. Let's get down to it. 50 Cent. The feud between 50 Cent and Diddy dates back years, starting in 2006 when 50 Cent dropped the diss track The Bomb, accusing Diddy of knowing who murdered Biggie Smalls. That sparked years of tension, with 50 Cent repeatedly suggesting Diddy had more to do with Biggie's death than he let on. In 2010, 50 Cent took it further, launching a petition that criticized Diddy for profiting off Biggie's legacy while seemingly doing little to honor him. By 2018, 50 Cent was openly mocking Diddy's behavior in interviews, insinuating that Diddy made inappropriate comments toward men, even saying that he's completely insane. Fast forward to 2024, as allegations against Diddy intensify, 50 Cent hasn't held back. He's continued trolling Diddy on social media, bringing up past incidents, and even suggested during his final lap tour that Diddy played a role in Tupac's death. Now, with the spotlight on Diddy's behavior, it seems 50 Cent's long-standing warnings are finally getting the attention they deserve. Out this oh, damn! <laughs> <laughs> has been Christmas in jail! <laughs> yeah, no, it was, just so, it was just so excitement. It was so much excitement that there was no reason for me to put something in our drink. Oh, my God. I need you to remember. I need you to remember this. Uh-uh. Uh they can hug you from the front and the back at the same time. Eminem? In the wake of Diddy's arrest on serious charges, including trafficking and racketeering, fans are revisiting Eminem's lyrics with fresh eyes. One track, Fuel, from his latest album, The Death of Slim Shady, Coup de Grasse, has sparked widespread discussion online. In it, Eminem plays on words, cleverly spelling rapper without the P, which many believe is a jab at Diddy. Adding fuel to the fire, the phrase P. Diddy seems to sound suspiciously close to P. Diddy, making the insinuation hard to ignore. This isn't the first time Eminem has taken aim. His 2018 track Kill Shot also stirred controversy, with a lyric suggesting Diddy had involvement in Tupac's death, though it was framed as a joke. With each cryptic lyric, fans are now convinced Eminem was trying to warn us all along. Only now, his words seem to hit harder. Kanye West. Recently, lyrics from Kanye's 2024 track Carnival resurfaced, drawing attention to lines that now seem prophetic. In the song, Kanye placed Diddy, alongside infamous figures like R. Kelly and Bill Cosby, in the context of the Me Too movement, rapping, Now I'm Ye Kelly. Now I'm Bill Cosby. Now I'm Puff Daddy Rich. That's me too, me rich. Adding to the intrigue, past texts between Kanye and Diddy have resurfaced, hinting at unresolved tensions between the two. The exchange took place during Kanye's controversial White Lives Matter t-shirt incident. Diddy had attempted to calm the situation by offering a face-to-face -face meeting, but Kanye wasn't interested. Their heated back and forth revealed deep frustrations, with Kanye going as far as posting their texts online and warning Diddy that he would expose everything. You already made everybody think I'm crazy. You already took my family away. You already separated all my friends. I don't got no celebrity friends. Travis now, gave you the address, though? Travis right? gave me the address. Right. But as far as Meek Mills, no. Puff Daddy, whoever... Usher. When Usher was just 13, he lived with Diddy for a year an experience he now reflects on with mixed emotions. Usher, who was sent from Dallas to New York by his record label to learn the ropes of the music industry, found himself in the middle of Diddy's world, something far beyond his understanding at the time. During a 2016 interview with Howard Stern, Usher recalled seeing curious things during his stay, though he remained vague about the details, admitting he didn't fully grasp what was going on around him. Howard probed further asking if the house was filled with wild parties and questionable behavior, but Usher avoided specifics. He simply described the atmosphere as pretty wild and clarified that it wasn't something he would want for his own children. 
Now, a father of four, Usher was quick to dismiss the idea of sending his kids to anything like the puffy flava camp he attended, reflecting how little his parents knew about what he was exposed to. Tupac Shakur. Recently resurfaced footage has sent shockwaves through the hip-hop community, featuring Tupac Shakur expressing his belief that Sean Diddy Combs was involved in the notorious Quad Studios shooting in 1994. In the haunting clip from an April 1995 Vibe magazine interview, Tupac candidly shared his suspicions about Diddy being the mastermind behind the attack that left him shot five times. When asked directly if he thought Diddy had a hand in the shooting, Tupac replied, I believe so. I do believe so. Though he hesitated to reveal details, stating he had proof but felt it wasn't for public consumption. On the day of the shooting, Tupac had entered Quad Studios to work on a track for rapper Little Sean. Despite his initial apprehensions, he felt reassured when he spotted a friend, Little Caesar, in the building. However, things took a dark turn as Tupac approached the elevator, where he encountered a group of men. The moment escalated quickly, leading to Tupac being gunned down, an event that left him with severe injuries. In the aftermath, Tupac recalled the eerie calm of the studio, where he found Diddy, Biggie, and others present. Yet their lack of reaction only deepened his sense of betrayal. Nobody approached me, he noted, which fueled his suspicions about their involvement or knowledge of the attack. Only they can answer that question. Right. I have my own opinion, but I wouldn't slander their name like they did mine. Right. I wouldn't say things that I knew. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I believe so. I do believe so. I have proof, things that I could say that would back up my claim, but this is not for the world to know about. Right. You know what do you think about the whole Diddy situation? 